They're, um, I have to say, Robbie, that's the last time through here, and we're seeing it once again here. Lots of riders jumping onto the pavement, up inside the bollards, up inside the post, and riding mm. a smooth section. I know we're supposed to turn a blind eye to it, but this is something the UCI said they were going to really clamp down on. There we go again, cutting the corner inside that post. I mean, if you hit that post, it's your own fault, really. But I get it, but look how many riders are, are opting for the pavement at this point. <laughs> yeah, and it is very tempting because those gutters yeah. are so low, you don't even have to yeah. really hop up them. You just you know, take a bit of weight off the wheels and get up and over. This is a big acceleration here. Hey. On Derek the G on the move, of the move. Robbie. This yeah. is, sorry to interrupt. This is Derek G on the move, and lots of people will be um, pleased to see that. What a Giro d'Italia the Canadian <laughs> from Ottawa had. I just, do you know, it wasn't until I looked back, I thought not only did he have four second places, but he was also second in the points competition as we watch Biniam Germain now going on the attack as well. I just finished what I was saying second in the points and second in the mountains. I tell you what, we would love to see Derek G win today, yeah. wouldn't we? Surely. He, he was it. second in everything in the Giro, yeah. but he was the yeah. most—he was the most aggressive rider in the Giro, that's for certain. But now the aggression mm. coming from Biniam Gurume. So this was the setup. His two teammates—we saw them riding so hard in, the, in this loop back around to the mood. The break now. They are going to hang on over the top, but as they look over their shoulder, they'll be see Gurume coming any second now. They're one he man comes. light up. Mm. Distanced. Oh. Jens he's Reinders. gone past Jens Reinders, yep. Jens Reinders is going to be fed back into that group, and by the looks of his legs, he'll be trying to hang on over the top. But, Germain, let's remind viewers at home, this is his comeback race after that crash in the Ronde van Vlaanderen, when he was taken down in, uh, I'm not going to name the rider, but the rider who's moving up on the grass on the outside, swept back into the peloton, took them down. He has not raced since then. He's been back in Eritrea as we watch Jonas Abramsen, the uh, super domestic who's got his day out today, uh, in Brussels for Uno X, and he goes over the top first by himself. See that little section there, Jez? They come off the top and they sweep around to the left. A couple of tight turns coming after that. This is the rest of that 20 man group. And just waiting to see what sort of inroads that Derek G and it was Kellen O'Brien who went with him from Jaco Alula. They were splitting the bunch. Those two had separated themselves. I'm not sure if they've been caught by another pretty strong group but the peloton definitely splitting on the mood